Good morning friends, myself Dr. P. Samuel, Assistant Professor of Biotechnology of ANJAC. Through this video tutorial, I am going to share something about uh, a very basic technique in microbiology called serial dilution. So let's move on to the topic. First let me tell you what actually the serial dilution process refers to. Right? Serial dilution. It is a very, as I told you before, it is a very, very preliminary technique, right? Preliminary technique, very simple technique in microbiology. Preliminary technique, okay? Second thing, uh, a fundamental, a fundamental technique to be carried out before starting a before starting a major experiment right major experiment in microbiology okay so what is the objective of serial dilution right the prime objective the prime objective of serial dilution is to reduce um, the population of microbes population of microbes in the given sample right okay you you may ask a question sir what is the need to why uh, the number of population needs to be reduced right so let me tell you a, a small example right let me draw a petri plate now okay let me draw a small uh, plate for your kind reference okay imagine this as a petri plate okay let me format this okay and let me rotate in the 3d format okay this way okay okay fine right see uh, when we use a sample uh, for example a soil sample which is collected from an ecosystem and when we are inoculating it directly, there are possibilities for the growth of uh, n number of microorganisms in the plate, right? There are possibilities for the growth of n number of organisms in the plate, okay? So, let us uh, check it. But characterizing all the organism at a time is quite difficult, characterizing all the organism I mean uh, at a time is quite difficult right so without serial dilution there are possibilities for the growth of n number of bacteria n number of bacteria right you should remember it but when the sample is diluted actually what would happen there are significant reduction in the number of population which in turn enable us to characterize the isolates simply right for easy understanding let me do it right okay see now you could compare the first slide and the second slide here the number of cells are greatly reduced so that it is very easy for us to study the individual organism in a detailed pattern. So this is what the primary objective of serial dilution, right, is to reduce the population. See, I have highlighted the content in the red color, okay. So now we move on to the requirements. What are all the primary requirements? For, uh, for that, I am going to import some images from my uh, USB drive, okay. 
for example uh, first what I need is soil this is a primary requirement right I am in need of and the second requirements may be a beaker or beaker in the sense or a tube a test tube see these are all the fundamental requirements for my study right soil and test tubes right these are all very important okay so for example I am taking one gram of soil I am taking one gram of soil I'm measuring it one gram of soil and I am going to dissolve the soil in 100 ml of water sterile water right 100 ml of sterile water right let me for your easy understanding let me import uh, the beaker right okay here is the beaker and I'm going to take a handful of soil right so these are all the contents primary contents I want okay so dissolving one gram of soil in 100 ml of distilled water this is the primary factor now 100 ml of distilled water right 100 ml of distilled water see we are dissolving right we are dissolving 1 gram of soil in 100 ml of distilled water so that the dilution becomes 10, 10 to the power of minus 1 right 10 to the power of minus 1 so this is what the dilution right so after this primary dilution process what I am going to do I am going to dilute it serially see care should be taken that this particular water should be completely sterile it should be a sterile water or sterile distilled water otherwise uh, the water may sometime harbor thousands of organisms in it by nature right the indigenous population of microbes in the water itself may may interfere with our result which subsequently leads to a wrong conclusion about the experiment so to avoid it so what we are doing we are completely sterilizing it we are completely sterilizing it or we are completely heating the soil right so we are completely heating right heat the water heat the water okay so this is to avoid contamination this is to avoid your contamination of your experiments right okay so after this so take a series of test tube right for example paste here and paste here okay so let me take a series of uh, test tubes right so each test tube should be filled with uh, 9 ml of distilled water so each test tube is filled with 9 ml of distilled water right 9 ml of distilled water so let me 9 ml of distilled water okay 9 ml of distilled water so fill all the test tubes with 9 ml of distilled water this should be an essential or uh, the first and important step in uh, the serial dilution process right every uh, tube right every tube should be filled with 9 ml of distilled water okay now let me mark it okay right fill it with distilled water 
okay okay so the tubes are filled with distilled water this is a first step 9 ml of distilled water and in the next step so we are going to add so let me take uh, the first slides alone i mean uh, a single set of test tubes alone so we know that the each tube is filled with 9 ml of distilled water right it is very clear second tube and this one is third tube so to each tube so what we have to add is right 1 ml of this soil sample right we have to add 1 ml of soil sample into uh, the tube containing 9 ml of distilled water so let me import an image pipe it okay right so here is the pipe it so with the help of uh, the pipe it we have to add 1 ml of distilled water so in the same way right we have to transfer 1 ml into each test tubes right so this is the step we have to watch it very closely because uh, prior to the addition of 1 ml of uh, diluted soil sample we have 9 ml of distilled water right we have 9 ml of distilled water in each test tube right 9 ml of distilled water in each test tube so after the addition of the 1 ml soil sample from the inoculum right the total volume becomes 10 ml so the total volume in each test tubes become 10 ml right you know how this is due to uh, this is due to 1 ml of diluted soil sample with 9 ml of distilled water so that the total volume of each test tubes become 10 ml okay right fine so the purpose of transferring the sample from one tube to another tube is to reduce the microbial population that is very very important to reduce the microbial flora so again i would like to uh, recap why we need to reduce the population because when we reduce the microbial population right it is easy for us to study the individual organisms in detail right in detail so when the plate is filled with uh, different numbers of organism it is quite difficult to characterize each of them so prior to the transfer of the inoculum into the subsequent test tubes right we should shake the entire content gently right we should shake the entire content gently so now this tube is said to be the mother inoculum right this is said to be the mother inoculum right uh, for your easy understanding let me write it here this is called mother inoculum mother inoculum right fine so this mother inoculum containing the following composition means 100 ml of distilled water with 1 gram of soil sample okay so now this mother inoculum is gradu i mean is serially transferred into different test tubes different test tubes right so let me uh, draw a small uh, test tube for the kind uh, uh, attention right in the in the next uh, uh, tube the next slide okay so uh, let us draw a test tube okay a small test tube okay here is the test tube fine now let me okay so this is how we are taking different test tubes 4 5 and 6 imagine these are the labeled test tubes now the each tube is containing uh, the soil sample right 
for example, uh, probably, okay, right? This is the first test tube, right? Imagine, uh, let me uh, delete all these things, okay, okay, delete it because okay so let's take let's duplicate this slide so now right imagine this is your uh, second tube right let me take the third one right fourth one let me take it let me take the fourth one okay fifth one right so you could see the difference this one is very thick because it contain the dissolved soil sample so as we goes on what is happening here right as we move on to uh, the subsequent slides the population I mean uh, the concentration of the soil is gradually dissolved right the concentration of the soil is gradually dissolved why because when we are diluting the sample again and again the population of microbe is gradually reducing. The reduction is represented in uh, the variation in the color format. Right? So, the primary objective of serial dilution is to reduce the population number in the sample. Reduce the population number in the sample. Right? So, what would be the result of the experiment? Now, let me explain it okay uh, for example uh, this is our uh, petri plate right this is our petri plate okay just an imagination okay for example I'll fill and uh, since uh, this plate contain uh, the content derived from the first uh, test tube right from the first test tube for example from this test tube right so since the population of microbe is too high in this uh, diluted sample the plate may contain different uh, n number of colonies right the sample may contain I mean the plate may contain n number of colonies so this has to be uh, noted carefully right now let me do it very slowly because to make it understanding fine okay see there are number of uh, colonies in the plate becomes increased okay so when we duplicate it I mean uh, let's imagine we are taking the sample from the uh, second tube see the colony number is gradually reduced so in the same way what we are doing we are selecting it we are copying it and I am pasting it so here what would happen again the population number right is reduced why it is reducing because as I told you when we are diluting the sample right automatically the total number of population or the total number of microbes in the given sample is also gradually reducing right is gradually reducing okay so hope uh, you will understand what actually uh, the process serial dilution refers to.
what actually the process serial dilution refers to. So, this is very fundamental technique and though it is fundamental, it is a very mandatory procedure before starting any complex experiments in microbiology, right. So, keep it in mind, if you have any queries, please do uh, make a uh, WhatsApp, right. And uh, let me uh, give my WhatsApp number here. This is my WhatsApp number. So, you can contact me or you can forward your queries to this number, right. Uh, so, thanks for watching this video and hope we will meet another uh, excellent uh, video tutorial. Till then, it is bye from Dr. Samuel, right. Bye-bye. Take care.